Hi, everybody. This is Sue McNaughton, the Communications Director for the Pennsylvania Department of Corrections, and we're joined by Christine Altemeyer. Christine is the Superintendent's Assistant at the State Correctional Institution at Waymart, which is in Wayne County, Pennsylvania. Hello, Christine. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So the reason we asked you to do this Zoom uh, interview with us is because I see that you've been doing some really nice things to try and keep the morale up at your institution. And I just wanted to hear from you about what it is that you're doing and how is, how is everything being received? It's being well received, actually. Um, first off, we started taking pictures um, of staff working and helping out. Um, since we're on lockdown, it's been difficult um, because of, you know, no movements. Um, but everybody really has been, um, ha have been team players. Um, we started out with the, with the pictures, just making collages and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of went into having a mask contest. Um, <laughs> there's two specific staff members that when this all started, made masks that night and brought in bundles for everybody. Um, so they gave everybody a mask and then they got creative and um, started making, you know, all these creative masks. So we decided to have a mask contest and um, that really went over well. We had quite a few participate and um, we've been doing a lot of things. We've been doing a trivia contest, um, newsletters, uh, we have wear your favorite ball cap or hat on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, Wednesdays, we're um, allowing creamer to come into the facility as long as it's unopened. Um, commissioned officers um, are allowed to wear their alternative uniforms. Staff have dress down days, including the administrative staff. Daily inspirational messages are being emailed out. Weekly updates are happening between roll calls, and union is is um, well well received also with notifications. Um, Can you show me some of the collages that you've put together? Sure. Okay, so it looks like you go around to the various areas of the facility and you take pictures of staff and obviously they're all wearing their masks and practicing social distancing. Look Absolutely. at that. Great. And you know, I think this will really be great for from a historical perspective. You know, like right now because of COVID, everybody's looking back 100 years because of the Spanish flu back in 1918 and they're wondering what did everybody do back then? And I think in, in our future, people will be looking back and wondering how on earth did the prison system handle COVID-19 and you will have helped because you took these pictures. So that's very cool. Awesome, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. And, and then tell me about masks again. Now you said somebody made a whole bunch of masks for the employees and brought them in? There were quite a few staff members, but there's two in particular that um, made masks when this all started. Um, and they gave each staff member a mask. And I'll show you a few of them here. Um, obviously, I have a couple. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But right away, they went ahead and, and like did this right away. And that was really cool. Wow. They're top notch looking masks, too. Yeah, and I, I have a new one that I just purchased today. Wow. <laughs> it's got little dog paws on it. Oh, no. <laughs> That's great for the, your animal lovers. That's neat. And I know that also Correctional Industries throughout Pennsylvania has been making cloth masks. They're big. And um, so I think, you know, the, the DOC really didn't, didn't mind. Like, okay, we'll give them masks made by Correctional Industries. But if they want to wear their own masks, then let them wear their own masks. And so that's great. And kudos to your employees who actually made those masks. That's yeah, great. No yeah. Thank you. And so overall, how would you say the morale is among the employees up there then? It's very good. I think, I, actually, I think it's great. Good. I think it's great, yeah. Because this is a difficult time that we're in. And, you know, not only do they have to come in and, and work because they're all essential employees, but, you know, I'm sure they're still worried about their families and, you know, what 
what we're all facing through this COVID-19 situation. It's just everything's unknown and kind of stressful. And then our guys and gals have to go inside an institution and, you know, continue to work in yet a stressful environment. So I think that's nice that you're doing everything that you can to kind of brighten their days. I really think Absolutely. that's nice. I, I get some really positive feedback and I, I feel good about that. And I'm sure our admin, administrative staff also feels the same way. And then you and I talked a little bit about how kind of depressed we were in the beginning of this COVID thing. And, and you said that doing this work also helps you. How does it help you? Um, it's taken the stress and the pressure off. It's, make, it's making my day a little more fun, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. um, instead of thinking about just the COVID, we're making it just a little more um, able to cope. Nice. Now, are you involved in anything that has to do with the inmates and kind of keeping their morale up as well? I mean, obviously it can't be fun to be locked in your housing units uh, for a long period of time. Are you involved in anything like that? Or can you talk about what some steps are being taken in that area? Um, personally, I'm not hands-on involved, but we are um, I think the inmates actually are doing well. Um, I, I'm also the grievance coordinator, so I do go around to, to pick up the grievances, very limited, but I do get around and I can see they're, they're playing cornhole, they've got PlayStations, um, they're uh, movies, um, they're able to pick movies off a list and they're trying to make it as comfortable as they can. Now, I know that there might be some people in society who think, wow, what are inmates in prison doing playing cornhole? But I think we're under a very different time here with this COVID, and we really have to do things to kind of keep the inmates calm. And active. And active. Because if they're not active, they start to think of ways to sometimes get themselves into trouble, which could harm our staff. So obviously, it's good if we can keep them busy. Would you agree with that? 100%. <laughs> so what kind of major things for the employees, uh, you were talking about different things that you were doing, bringing, bringing creamer in, and is there anything else really, well, I don't know, maybe you want to have some things be surprised, but is there anything big that you have planned? <laughs> um, well, it's corrections week, so we have quite a menu planned. I really don't remember it what everything is they have special things every day but i do know ice creams on thursday nice. I, you know, that, i'm a fan of that so yes. <laughs> i remembered that but they're also you know they're, they're making special meals right and that for everybody that this is institutional parole and corrections employee week it's been corrections employee week since 1986 and so the first full week in may we allow our staff to celebrate and sometimes they have barbecues outside um, or you know they're able to bring in certain food items and and have special menu things so it just so happens that you know covid kind of hit in the middle of all of this and we're still having our institutional parole and corrections employee week um, so that's that's great and you know really we thank everybody for their terrific work this has really been um, a very difficult situation to try and manage COVID and try to keep it from spreading throughout our facilities and social distancing is not an easy thing at the institutions and especially at your facility because you have mostly or if not all dormitory style housing correct correct yeah so you know, it's really been a challenge and kudos to all of you, your staff for everything that they do to, you know, keep everything operational and kudos to you for keeping up everybody's morale. Thank you. I appreciate that. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about before we end the interview? No, we're just coming up with new ideas and fresh ideas every day and we're just taking it one day at a time. One day at a time and we're all in this together. That's right. And, and actually, Waymar, very good team. Yes. Very, they really are. You've always had a very good history yeah. of being a very good team. And for those of, who are watching this video, they may not even know that Waymart is the old Farview State Hospital, which was pushed into operation as a state correctional institution in 1989 because of the Camp Hill prison riots in October of 1989. So really from day one of SCI Waymart, this team of incredible corrections individuals has really just, you know, 
been doing exceptional work. So thanks again to you and to everybody, Christine. Thank you.